Well, here's our glamping setup. And what we've got is a Wenzel eight person Klondike tent and the Ozark Trail outdoor equipment uh, shower, two part shower system. And I'll talk to you about all this later. Just giving you. Take a look at the Wenzel first. It's a good looking tent. I like it. Pretty easy setup. First time out of the bag. Took about 25 30 minutes. Yeah, it is a Klondike eight person cabin tent with screen porch. You can see this porch. It's not quite tall enough for me to stand up in it, but. I think if I put some guidelines on it, some additions, I can get us a, about another foot out of it. But it's totally screened in. Zippers come all the way up to make it waterproof. Same as the doors. The only thing I didn't like about it, which is not too bad, is that there's nothing to hang a light on in the porch no nothing to hang anything and so here you have the main tent section it's got a rounded oval door you can see the got the door kind of tucked back in that bag and I like the way it kicks out in the corners it gives you a little bit more space I can easily stand up in here. It's got one hook to hang something from. And that's it. So we'll be trying to add some hooks and string some line in here. Uh, of course this pulls out. I had to take the guy wire down to set up the shower system. Uh, the fly is on it right now. It's very very spacious. It's got a couple little hanging bags on it. Put stuff in. Not a lot, but we will add more for that. And I'm very happy with this. Plenty of tie downs. And uh, it's just a really good looking tent. About these zippers. Make sure you don't get the cloth in it. And I want to keep it zipped up because there's ants crawling all over the place around here. Okay, there we go. Okay, well, let's take a look at the shire system. So, what I did was uh, I bought an extra bag. This Is the Ozark Trail two room instant shower utility shelter? I mean, setting this thing up was five minutes tops. I think she timed me and it took me two minutes. But basically, you just lay it upside down and these poles extend out and, and snap into place. And then you've got two smaller poles that will that come out and lift the you know the entrance way up and the back side too as well so yeah I mean setup was I don't have it pegged down but the setup was uh, like I said two minutes tops and you know when you're out sitting up the tent camping so inside I do not have the fly on it but we've got a nice little gear storage thing in here 
over here they supply you with a uh, shower curtain so there's ample room in here for you get more storage bags down here and you can see I've already tried this out so basically what I've done and then you got two windows here as well that I've got one unzipped right now uh, so there's a, a mesh storage bag up here you can lay things in I think I, I think it's just the whole wash rags and stuff so what I've done I come in the bottom with my on off switch cable and my tubing and it basically runs up to here and I've connected in a, a shower head with just a coupler and it since it's 12 volts you know I just put this on off switch in the corner just to save water and I've got a this old shower head that I had laying around the only problem is is adjusting it to where you want it to sit while you're showering it's not that not too user friendly but uh we're definitely working out so but i just hooked a, a pump up to it and I'm on and off switch you can see it's got mesh bottom water's running out Now it's just shooting out. So once you get good and soapy, you can turn it off and serve water. Uh, you do need to have this zipped all the way up. You don't want it in this part of it. So, basically, like I said, I just took some EMT and bent it. Put some thread rod as legs. Made it word angled back. Uh, made some hooks to hook the bag on and kind of drill holes in the top of it to hang my, my stuff on. I just made a little board and mounted this 12 volt uh, pump. It says one gallon per minute, but it will empty this bag in almost three minutes, maybe four. Uh, and I've got a little, I think it's 3.5 amp Henry battery. Uh, and I've kind of just put my hose down here and it goes down to the bottom. Hard to see, but it's right there. Get it right in the corner. So it's a solar bag. I bought an extra one. It comes with one. So I would have two for a camping. And uh, like I said, my battery. I got it so I can slide it out and charge it back up later if I want to, if I need to. I have run five of these bags through this battery on a full charge and it still had enough juice to hook it up to my rain barrel in my garden. You can't see it over there. I've got a rain barrel that I hooked it to to water my garden. Yeah, so that's what I did. Oh, and this. Forgot about this. What I did was just took a noodle, put it on top, glued this piece to it so it would kind of seal it up, kind of get a vapor there on it. And we got a little toilet. So I hope this uh, gives somebody some ideas. And if you got any questions, leave comments. Thanks for watching.